in this video, uh, we're going to be having a look at the different rest energies of different particles and how we can calculate uh, the rest energy of any particle out there. So for a wave, to calculate the energy of it, uh, we normally use E equals HF, where H is the Planck's constant, which is 6.63 uh, times by 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds, uh, and F is the frequency measured in hertz. However, for any particle out there, uh, we use E is equal to MC squared, and this here is what we're going to be using to calculate the different rest energies of different particles. So we can actually calculate the rest energy of any object. Uh, if you have a mass of anything, so let's just say you've got the mass of a calculator, you can measure how much energy it's got, and um, well, you just times it by the, the speed of light squared. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the three main particles that you need to know about at A-level physics. So um, we've got the electron, we've got the proton, and we've got the neutron. So three different particles. We know the masses of all of these particles. We know the mass of an electron is 9.11 times by 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. For a proton, it's 1.673 uh, times by 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. And for a neutron, it's 1.675 times by 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. So we know they are the masses of all of those particles. So how do we work out the rest energies? Well, all you do is you just times it by the speed of light squared. So 9.11 times by 10 to the minus 31 times by 3 times by 10 to the 8 squared. And you can have a value there. I am going to draw another column over here. This column is going to put it into electron volts because most of the time these energy values are in electron volts. So we're going to use the conversion 1 EV is equal to 1.6 times by 10 to the minus 19 joules for this over here. So this is our rest energy in electron volts. This one is the rest energy in joules. And this here is the mass. And we've got the particles over here. So let's do these calculations first and then we'll do them. Right, once we have the rest energy in joules, uh, we divide by 1.6 times by 10 to the minus 19 and we get a number which is 512437.5 electron volts. So it's not actually sensible to put this uh, in electron volts, we're going to add a prefix in there and that prefix is going to be mega electron volts, uh, which gets me to 0 0.512 MeV, and I know it says EV there, so let's just change that to MeV, uh, and we do this for both of those two as well. So currently we have three numbers uh, over here which are in mega electron volts. Um, as you can see, uh, the particle with the largest amount of rest energy is the neutron and that was only because it had the largest mass.